If we're going to do an FEA analysis of a, a shape like this with a valley cable, then it's often very useful to actually build the model with a cable in the model. To do that, we start with make a copy of one of the meshes and we'll in Ampanel use the tool Mesh to Polylines to convert the, the mesh to polylines and the label selected as the outside polyline. Now I'm going to change the color of this which you'll see in a moment is uh, the reason for this. Uh, so I've made it yellow which is number two in the colors and the last thing I do is use the AutoCAD explode command which is X for explode this is now a series of individual uh, lines. And, sorry, these are just straight lines. So I'm now going to copy these using the snap tool to the appropriate point on the model. Now we'll go to front view. What I'm going to do now is show you how we can control the shape using um, the in, in M panel um, with this cable now as instead of a cable edge mesh we're actually relaxing this as a joined edge mesh with and modeling a cable in the in the model. So we'll relax join joined, joined edge mesh and we'll set the cable length to a link tension of 15. I started with 10 and uh, that was a bit too deep so I'm changing it to 15. Notice I've got a fairly high number of iterations uh, to make sure that the model fully relaxes. So we'll select the model and relax again as a joined edge mesh and watch that we are getting to at least four decimal places so the thing is fully relaxed and you can see the shape is is a reasonable shape. If I wanted to lift it higher I would simply increase the link tension for those links. So delete old. Let's change this to 20 again. So you can see we can control the shape uh, using the link tension for these links. Now the reason I'm doing this is purely because I'm going to read this model into FEA. Now we're working in millimeters. Uh, this drawing uh, is in millimeters, so I've got this uh, conversion. I'm going to ask uh, FEA to automatically calculate cable tensions, and I've also stipulated that I wanted to read in C lists, and this is the reason why we have color coded this uh, these links. So these links are yellow and that means they will be on C list number two when I read them in. So as normal we select the model, make model previously made this. So I'll, I'll, the only thing I'll preserve is the loads. I'll let it uh, create new materials and lists. And you can see I've stipulated a type 1 PVC, 10 millimeter cables. And you can see now we've defined a cable for C list 2. So this was the benefit in color coding this uh, this cable as yellow, I could now control, I can make this a different size cable by simply selecting a different material from the materials library a different cable. Similarly in pre-stress, uh, for this small structure a pre-stress of one kilonewtons uh, per meter would be adequate, but we can also now set a pre-stress for the cable itself. So let's set this to 
loads I've already put in a load of uh, 0.5 kilonewtons per square meter or kPa uplift and for load case 2 we've got the same in reverse and we'll simply quickly run through uh, solutions you can see load case 0 is a perfectly fast solution load case 1 will take a little bit longer and load case 2 is a quick solid solution. So now in results we'll start with load case 0 and using standard plot headers that program for your requirements. We select standard plot for data. This gives us the information about the project, the materials being used, and the element numbers for the structure strength numbers and then the plot, plot header for uh, a basic plot, data plot. Your engineer may need different data. You can program these data plots up. Just follow the, the help file. So now for low case zero the standard plot is control plus two and then repeat the same for load case one and for load case two. And we can see now the reactions XYZ reactions and just XY reactions. Uh, the high reactions are in the corners here for uh, low case zero, 23 kilonewtons. For uplift, the majority of the reactions are in the low connections at 53 kilonewtons. And here we can see a higher reaction in the uh, cables for these high poles when we've got a downward load on the cable. And we can see the same information on the cable tensions. So you can zoom in on the individual cable tensions for each different load case, as well as look at the displaced shape and the displacements for each of these load cases. So if I want to look at this load case where we've got a downward load on the cable. If I select this model I can isolate the object and then given that it's isolated we can now do a 3D rotate on that particular item and we can see the fabric is actually bellying in but the cable is preventing middle of the sail from sagging so if this were a hail or snow load the fabric would remain supported by the cable and obviously we'd expect a much higher uh, tension in this cable and depending on the results if this cable tension were beyond the capacity the tensile capacity of the cable you may need to rerun the model uh, the FEA analysis with a, a bigger cable stiffer cable. For more videos and tutorials please go to mpanel.com. Support at 